Bible question of the day. How do we explain and understand light according to the scripture? That's the question. How do we explain and understand light according to the scripture? So let's look at the scripture here. We're going to go to the New Testament. We're going to look at the book of John. We're going to look at John chapter 9 verse 5. And let's read this. It says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So who's speaking here? We see Jesus is speaking. It says, Jesus answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So he says, I am the light of the world. So let's look at that. We're going to open up the lexicon here. We're going to look at the um, strong concordance of the definition of light. And we're going to open this up in another tab, which is G5457. So let's open it up in another tab here. So we can understand what the light represents. How do we explain it? So we're going to look at the light here. We see the, the light can also be lit, emitted by a lamp, a heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth. Anything emitted, light, a star, fire because it is light and sheds light, a lamp or torch, light represents brightness of a lamp. Now this is the metaphor. This is what we understand the light to be. God is light because light has the extremely delicate, subtle, pure, brilliant quality. So we see here God is light of truth and its knowledge. So now we see here God, I mean, the, the light represents truth and its knowledge together uh, with the spiritual purity associated with it. That which is exposed to view, the view of all openly, publicly. Reason, mind. So this represents the power of understanding, especially moral and spiritual truth. So now we see the metaphor of light that represents truth and its knowledge together with spiritual purity associated with it. And we know that it represents the reason of mind, which is the power of understanding, especially spiritual and moral truth, moral and spiritual truth. So this is what light is, or this is what light represents spiritually, the power of understanding. That's the metaphor. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some scriptures to show you this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to go to Matthew. Let's look at Matthew 25. Matthew 25, verse 1. Matthew 25, 1, it says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. You see what they're taking? Their lights. So we're going back to the definition, and we see the light, brightness of a lamp. This is what they're taking. The light emitted by a lamp. So they're taking their lamps or their lights. Now we're going to go to another verse. We're going to go to 1 John. Chapter 1, verse 5. It says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. You see the scripture is saying that. And this is what we got from the lexicon here. God is light because light has extremely delicate, subtle, pure, brilliant quality. So we know that God is light according to the scripture. And we know that the light represents the truth. So we're going to go to another scripture to prove that. We're going to go to John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see that? Truth represents the light. As he says, I am the light of the world. I am the truth of the world. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go look at the opposition. We're going to go to John chapter 8, verse 44. It says, Ye are your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, 
because there is no truth in him. You see where it's at? Inside of him. There's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. You see what he doesn't have? The truth. What did he have before his fall? We're going to look at the definition of Lucifer, which is the name he had before his fall. And that's going to be H 1966 in the lexicon in the strong concordance here. You see what it used to be? A light bearer. So you see the morning star? Light bearer. What did he carry? He carried the light. What did he carry? He carried the truth. Now there's no truth in him. So that's what the light represents. Truth and its knowledge together with spiritual purity. We have the power of understanding moral and spiritual truth. And that's how we explain and understand light according to the scripture.